What's up guys, Shane Starnes here. We're at CES at the RoboUp booth to check out the all new Rhino One mower from RoboUp. Let's go check it out. The first thing you're gonna notice about the RoboUp Rhino One is that there's no boundary wire. So you're not gonna have to worry about a boundary wire on your lawn that trips you up. You don't have to worry about taking a day or two to bury a wire. This works wire free, which is definitely one of the main benefits of this entire setup. The Rhino One is actually super efficient. It can mow up to 500 square square meters per hour so it'll have your yard completely mowed in no time. So the first thing that I really noticed about the Rhino One when I approached the booth is this massive hill. It's super steep. Each of the four wheels is powered. That's how it's able to climb such a steep hill and uh, to me it's one of the standout features. It's really what draw me what drew me into the booth when I approached it. It's pretty loud here at CES but one thing that I don't hear right now is the Rhino One. So one of the major benefits of having a robotic mower, an electric mower, is the fact that it's not going to cause a lot of noise pollution. You can mow your yard 7 a.m., 6 a.m. You're not gonna bother the neighbors because it is so quiet. Another thing that really stands out about the Rhino One is the AI technology that's built in to this robotic mower. This has AI vision for enhanced obstacle avoidance. It can work its way around gardens, plants, pets, and animals, and it can also get to the very edge which is something that other mowers that use a wire and even some other wireless mowers cannot achieve is getting all the way to the edge usually with robotic mowers you have a good two or three inches of grass that they cannot cut this is able to get all the way to the edge this does have a few mapping options which makes this totally user friendly you can 100% auto map with the Rhino One or you can manually map. So if you just need a certain area mode, you can map that out yourself or you can let Rhino One do the mapping for you. With that, you get customized mowing zones so that you can choose which zones of your yard you need to cut. Maybe you just need the front yard cut today and you can let the backyard go a few more days before being mowed. You have those options within the application. This also includes a 4G module with app control. You can power this thing and control it it from anywhere you have an internet connection that also means that it has anti-theft so if you're away from home someone comes over picks up the mower you'll be alerted that someone's trying to take your mower so that's definitely a great feature we're gonna go and talk to Nathan who's gonna give us some more information about the Rhino one all right guys I'm here at CES with Nathan from Robo up who is gonna give us some more information about their new mower. So Nathan, there are lots of different robotic mowers on the market today. What makes RoboUp mowers stand out? Well, at RoboUp, we don't just make tools and robot mowers. We aim to create a better living space for people at home by following UN SDG guidelines, such as UN SDG 15 and 3, to create a better living space for users at home. By doing that, we created products such as Rhino and TM01. Um, from TM01, we heard customer feedback and we took the feedback and took it really seriously to create the newest generation, which is called Rhino One. And also has four wheels as well, AWD. Yeah. Excellent, yeah, I've actually seen this in action, climbing the hill, and uh, that's really gonna save a lot of effort, you know, from the push mower. It's, yeah, definitely. It's really incredible how it's able to do that. Yep. Um, so Nathan, can you briefly explain how this is able to work without installing a wire? So. Our mower is wire-free setup. That means that we don't need a boundary wire, no perimeter wire. That means that the mower has three types of technology, and these three types of technology are RTK, VSLAM, and AI. With this, the mower can detect and map out its own virtual boundary. So then we don't need physical wires. So it's easier to set up. We don't need to like put wires on the lawn to map it out. The mower can do it itself. Yeah, that's incredible. I actually had a wired fence that I installed for my pets, which required me to bury a wire, and it took like two days to install the wire. So that's a huge benefit yeah, that it's a wireless setup. Mm -hmm. uh, speaking of the dogs, I do have two curious dogs. Is this mower safe for pets? Absolutely, absolutely. We have obstacle avoidance, so it can easily dodge away from animals or obstacles in the lawn. Yeah, okay, that's that's, any like, pain. that's yes. paramount because my dogs are so important. You know, they're part <laughs> yeah, of the family. So oh, Yeah, of course. This is a big one. It's a hugely technological project. There's a lot of electronics there, and I'm thinking robotic mower, uh, where I live, I live in Mobile, Alabama. It's the rainiest city in the U.S. Right. Is yeah. this going to work in the rain? Like, is it okay for it to get wet? It's completely fine. It has IPX6, so that's a waterproof design. So with that... Um, it, it won't be damaged with water and also it has rain sensors as well so when it rains it automatically goes back to the charging station 
Okay. Yeah, so because if the grass is wet and the mower starts mowing the grass, it might cause some damage to the lawn, right? Right. So it goes straight back to the charging station, and once it stops raining, it will continue its operation again. Wow. Okay. So it yeah. knows. It actually knows when it's raining. Yes, it knows when it's raining. Wow. Yes. That's incredible. And it can take some water. This is a very interesting question. One of the main reasons I would need a robotic mower is because I don't have time to mow the grass myself, mm -hmm. um, and a lot of that's because I'm at work or I'm away from the house. My robotic vacuum cleaner can be controlled from anywhere. So anywhere I have a wireless connection, I can log onto the application and control my robotic vacuum. Right. Is that something that we're capable of doing with the robo up lawnmowers? Yeah, for RoboUp we have an app, so you can connect to the app, and once you're connected, you can just tap a few buttons, use Wi-Fi or Bluetooth, and you can operate it from anywhere. Awesome, yeah, so anywhere. you can just control it from yeah, your app. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also it has uh, anti-theft as well. So okay. if it's lifted, the app will tell you that someone might be taking your mower. Cool. Um, so you guys have pretty much mastered the lawnmower. Does RoboUp have plans to develop products other than mowers? Yeah, we have a few thoughts incoming, such as vacuum cleaners and pool cleaners, but that will be for the future. We also plan to do like our own home integration as well. Yep, so then we can just link every product together and then give a better solution for people at home. Like I said, we want to create a better living space for people at home. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, it's having all the smart products is great, but having to operate them in multiple applications and having to log in to different accounts yes. can be frustrating. Yes, so having definitely. that integrated solution in the future is going to be great. Yep. Nathan, can you tell us a little bit more about the types of customer service that RoboUp provides to its customers, especially those that are new to robotic mowing? Okay, so we respond to all of our customers within 24 hours. And also our after sales will respond within three to five days within a week. Yeah, yeah very quick turnaround. Yeah, normally um, you would expect to uh, call and deal with a phone tree. And, yeah, um, that's completely fine because we also have like a big team. So if you have any questions, you can message us. We also can go on our website to message someone and then get feedback very Okay, easily. so there's all different types of ways to communicate with yes, you guys yes, to make yes. it convenient. Yes. Excellent. Okay, this is a good one. Um, what kind of frustrations with robotic mowing have you heard from customers and what is RoboUp doing to kind of alleviate some of the pain points with robotic mowing? So usually we hear a lot of comments about complex lawns, complex gardens. A lot of people have different types of terrain in the garden like bumps or little hills. So we created Rhino, but it can go steep hills without any issue as we have four, uh, four wheels, AWD or wheel drive. So with that, we have two front wheel steering. So that means that the front wheels can turn left and right and won't damage the lawn. Yep. So that's one of the, the key features that solved one, one of our customers' pain points, yes. And furthermore, we have premium RTK now for our newest product. Yeah, so the obstacle avoidance and the way it maps out the lawn is more efficient, so better navigation. Yeah. Excellent. And also we did a low noise design as well. Yeah, so I noticed. Quiet operation. I yes. can barely hear it right now. It's running yeah, yeah, in the yeah. background and it's uh. definitely a whole lot quieter than my gas powered mowers, for sure. <laughs> definitely, yeah. In comparison to a traditional mower, I think this is a better solution. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. I can actually turn this thing on at 3 a.m. and I'm not going to wake up the neighbors. Yes, yeah. yes, you're right. All right, Nathan, it's been a pleasure talking to you, and My I'm glad too. I got to meet you today. Have a, a great CES. Thank you. You too. Thanks. All right, thanks. So that about wraps it up here at the RoboUp booth covering the Rhino 1. I'm super excited. They're actually going to be sending me one that I can try out and test out and demo in real life for you guys on my yard so you can see how well it actually works. Look out for that video around April. So they're going to be shipping this closer to March and April. I'll have one and uh, give you guys the full review then be on the lookout for that that about wraps it up for this video thanks guys for watching be blessed i'll see you in the next one